Ho! What up, Skull? Yes, yes. It's good, man. Let me tell you all about myself, all right? My full name is Adinaka Chukumalachi Ozakoli. My parents' names are Ben and Monica. Go <laughs> <laughs> <Cold> figure. <laughs> yeah. My name's from Nigeria, that's where I'm from. Uh, I grew up here, though. I'm a Grady baby. Grew up here, went to high school in Nigeria, man. It's, Nigeria, that's a whole different cultural experience over there, guys. I don't know if you guys have been. It's, it's, it's really different, man. Like, uh, believe it or not, they don't have that many white folks over there. I don't know. <laughs> you guys are boycotting the continent or something? What's, what's the deal? But because there's so few of you guys over there, a few of you guys that are there are instant celebrities, man. Like, if you two, you guys go over there right now, you guys be signing autographs left or right just for being pale. <laughs> Seriously, man. Like, if you guys get off the plane like that, just see you go like, hey, look at the white person, please sign my forehead. <laughs> Make it out to my son, or then I can't you let you go with your phone. They love it, man. The kids, they get super excited whenever they have a white sighting. They be coming home from school like, Daddy, I saw a white guy today. <laughs> they, don't, they don't really say it like that, though, you know. It's more like, Papa, I saw a white man today. <laughs> he had a pointed nose, the leaf, no buttocks. <laughs> Just like the white man he told us about in the fairy tales, yes. That's, that's more how they say it. <laughs> Kids being in the Make-A-Wish Foundation, like, please, let me say a white person before I die. <laughs> Just one. See his shadow. <laughs> Love it, man. I remember uh, my first weekend in Nigeria, man. I was 15. So we're walking through, and my dad is giving me a tour. He's giving me and my brothers a tour of the village. And so we're walking down, and all of a sudden, I see this topless woman coming towards us. And I'm 15, my hormones are raging. I'm seeing this woman like, oh, man, who is that? I should have been in Africa. This is the spot. I am loving it. I'm soaking it in, and I'm just staring at this woman because it's like a scene out of National Geographic. But it's not like them ugly things that show in there. Like, this woman is beautiful. And I just can't take my eyes off her. And all of a sudden, my dad grabs me. He's like, stop staring. That's your Aunt Francis. <laughs> I was, I was trapped. I was like, what? I, you should have given me a list of aunties I can't look at. Come on. <laughs> what is this? How's I supposed to know? They don't, she doesn't look nothing like you or mom. What? I've never been to a family reunion. What is this? What is going on? I remember my, my first day of class, uh, first day of school in Nigeria. Um, I walk in, and of course, I feel awkward, man. I'm so self-conscious, because I know I'm just different from everybody else. And it's not even because of the clothes, because we all have uniforms. It's just the way I walk and talk is just different from everybody. And so I come, and I sit down, and I'm just really nervous. Whenever I get nervous, I got to pee. So I got up, and I went out to go pee. And then I realized, I don't know where the bathroom is. But then I was like, hey, I'm in Africa. You just pee wherever you want, right? That's, <laughs> it's free. It's the procedure. And so the first tree I saw, I walked up to that tree, and I let it rip, man. I was just going, just letting it out. And I did my thing, it zipped up, turned right back around, and I realized the place that I peed was in front of not only my classroom, but the whole 10th grade block of classrooms. And I was like, man, I picked the wrong tree. But then I was like, I, you know, I'm in Africa, I'm free, whatever, everybody does it. So I walk into the classroom, and I go sit down, and somebody taps me on the shoulder, and he's like, hey, I don't know what you guys do in America. But here in Africa, we pee in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, I picked the wrong way to fit in. Yeah, it was weird. Sometimes after a show, people come up to me and they'll be like, hey, you know what, your Nigerian impression is really spot on. And I will, I wouldn't know what to say to that, because I'm like, uh, well, I guess your American impersonation is really good too, buddy. <laughs> I like that, so, uh, yeah. Great. <laughs> y'all look great. <laughs> Who y'all with? Never mind, I can't be talking to you guys. Yeah, let me keep going. <laughs> oh, man. I, uh, I'm excited to be here, though. I've just moved into my first home. Excited about that, man. Yeah, feels good. It's also my parents' home. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting, you know? Like, we don't see eye to eye in a lot of things. You know, like, uh, like my dad, when I first started doing comedy, he'd understand why I was out all the time. So he came and he sat me down. I was like, hey, Odeneka, come here, sit down, sit down, sit down. Every night I come home, you're never here. What, what are you doing? Where are you going every night? What, where is, what are you doing with your time? What are you doing? And I was like, well, dad, I like doing um, stand up. You know, I like talking to folks, telling jokes. And he let out this really big sigh of relief that surprised me. He's like, oh, okay. Because all this time, I thought you were going out to different nightclubs, sleeping with men. 
That's what, that's what dad said. Like, really, really? That's the first thing you think? I'm not at home right now. You think I'm just out with some guy. That's what it is. I don't see. My, my son is not here. I guess he's out caressing some guy's thigh right now. He could be out with his boys. He could be chilling with his girlfriend. No, he's probably lying with some guy right now. I'm pretty sure. Like, wow. <laughs> All right, y'all. My name is Odie. That's my time. Holla. <laughs>